John Canzano and Bob Thompson. Now, Canzano, of course, Mr. Pac-12, knows everything that there is to know about everything. He and Bob Thompson, who I've had on the show a couple weeks ago, they got together and geeked out. As it says, geeked out over the media value of Pac-12 schools. Now, this is interesting to me because it actually puts a number with some of these programs. And it lets you know who is worth what, whether it's an expansion or how they're going to get this deal done if the Pac-12 is going to stay together, etc. It says, uh, I'm not a media rights expert. I've never uh, negotiated a television contract, but Bob Thompson, the former Fox Sports Network president, has done hundreds of deals over the years. He is the expert. The Pac-12 conference is currently negotiating with ESPN and some others for its next media rights deal. A few weeks ago, I asked Thompson to take a look at the Pac-12 and reverse engineer some media rights valuations for the remaining 10 members. Thompson geeked out on the numbers and created a formula to measure market size, television households, football brand, win percentage, Olympic sports, fan support, and men's basketball impact. So his ranking here, it says if they do an equal split, $32.4 million per school it would be a contract of $324 million. I think that would be uh, pretty good. Uh, Pretty good, you know, more than what was originally reported, right? Jason Shearer came out and said that the initial ESPN deal would have been uh, for, uh, what, $24.5 million per year per school. Not great. This would be about $8 million more than that, so $32.4 million. But he assigned a point value to each team. Washington got the highest at 36, Oregon 34, Stanford 30, Arizona State 25, and then so forth and so on. Uh, Cal is all the way down at 20 on this. Now, he said the figures above are estimated year number one numbers based on a five-year media rights contract with an average annual payout of $350 million. So... After that, uh, he said, let's assume the conference won't make that mistake again uh, as far as, uh, you know, making sure that everybody's okay with whatever. Um, But you get into uh, unequal revenue sharing. This is where it gets a little tricky, right? Because you look at this, and if you do unequal media rights revenue sharing, this is how it could break down. Washington, Oregon, and Stanford all make $38.7 million Arizona State, Utah, and Cal make $32.3 million each. And then Arizona, Washington State, Colorado, and Oregon State would all get $27.7 million. That's still right around the $324 million per year for ESPN or whoever else may pay up the contract, right? In that situation, you got two schools there, Arizona and Colorado, that might take a serious look at jumping over to the Big 12, which in turn could completely splinter the Pac-12 and whatever is left of this deal, right? Oregon State, I don't think, has anything to complain about. I don't think Washington State has anything to complain about. Oregon, excuse me, Arizona and Colorado, I think, would be able to get more money in the Big 12 than they would if they were to do unequal revenue sharing. Let me go ahead and say this. I've said it on the show before. If you're new to the show, First off, welcome. Please like the video and subscribe, of course. But unequal revenue sharing has been done in the past. It has killed conferences in the past. The value of teams swings drastically, and sometimes on a year-in and year-out basis. So it is interesting to me that this is something that the Pac-12 is considering doing, but they may not have any choice because If the Big Ten offers, here's the deal. Even if you were to pay Washington and Oregon $38.7 million each and and pay the other guys less, if the Big Ten comes calling, they're still going to go. As it sits right now, why would you go unequal revenue sharing with these guys based on the fact that they might stick around? Like, no, the Big Ten is always going to offer them more money. Like, that's the bottom line. So if you're worried about losing them to somebody like the Big Ten, that threat is always going to be there. So why would you pay them more as it is? Like Your biggest thing is making sure that you keep Arizona and Colorado and those guys happy. So don't do the unequal revenue sharing. But it is at least interesting to think about, right? At least to me. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.